show you how to wire up a dual 2 ohm subwoofer. This uh, the particular subwoofer is 2 ohms. Uh, this is the best case for our amp. We're trying to keep it cool, so I want to do a little bit different uh, uh, setup. I'm going to run these two subs to that amp at 2 ohms um, rather than the 1 ohm that it's capable of to keep it a little cooler in the small trunk. Uh, to, to wire up a dual ohms dual uh, dual voice call subwoofer, uh, there's two ways you can do that. It's a series and parallel. Series, you can think of uh, series being one after the other. And what we're doing here is instead of taking the two speakers and running two sets of wires across the coils, that would be a parallel configuration. We're taking it and running it in series. Uh, the parallel in this sub would give us a one ohm, which would bring our amp way down. Uh, could overheat it with a uh, half ohm load with two speakers. So we have a dual two, dual two. We're going to the negative and the positive one side, and then the negative and positive the other side using just one wire instead of the two coming off the subwoofer. You got your negative and your positive coming off your terminal cup. The negative goes to the black, uh, one of the black uh, or negative points on your subwoofer. The other one goes to the other voice coil at the positive. Then you take one wire, cut this in half, uh, split a wire in half, you run it from the, in this case, the negative to the positive. And that's your, that's your series configuration. For parallel configuration, you have your two wires coming off your terminal cup, you go straight to the negative and positive. That's only running one of your coils. Subwoofers don't recommend you doing that. So you take another wire, run these two together, and then if this is the negative, you go to the negative on this side. And then you'll get another piece of wire and do that with this side. That's your, that's your parallel configuration. That would make this subwoofer 1 ohm. But what I'm doing uh, for my uh, setup is the series. And that'll make the subwoofer a 4 ohm. So this, this subwoofer in particular with a dual 2 ohm voice coil, your subwoofer is only capable of 4 ohms or 1 ohm.